Hello there guys, my name is Mr. Yorkie's World. Welcome back to the channel. It has been quite a while since I made a last, my last video and I do apologise. However, much of the last few months, much of that time has actually been spent with me and my kids. Uh, as many of you already know, I am currently getting used to being a dad for the second time now with my five-month-old daughter. Uh, I have already got a two-year-old son as well, two-and-a-half-year-old actually. And as you can imagine, looking after two young kids, working another job, being a family man and finding time for YouTube can be quite a challenge. However, I am hoping to be able to get back into some new content starting from now. I might sound a little bit different and that is because I've got a new headset microphone. I've had to do away with the Blue Yeti temporarily. Uh, I'm actually using the uh, Logitech Pro GX or Logitech G Pro X. I can't even, it's a big name. But basically, it's over £100 I spent on a headset. The microphone quality is pretty good and it incorporates um, blue microphones technology so it, it, it helps to enhance the voice apparently so I'll let you guys be the, uh, the judge of that. It also makes things a little bit easier so I'm not going to bang the microphone every time I'm in the simulator anymore because it's not actually directly in front of me, it's actually on my head so that's even better. Um, straight into it, I'm going to be talking about a subject which everybody has been asking me to talk about and that is the new Flight Simulator 2020 from Microsoft or as I'm going to refer to it in this video, FS 2020 and I'll get right into it. I'm extremely excited. Now to begin with, if you want to find out all the latest updates about uh, FS 2020 then I would suggest heading over to the uh, flightsimulator.com website where you can sign up to receive all the latest insider information. Um, it's a, a fantastic website with all the, the latest sort of, uh, it's got the trailer on there, it's got some screenshots, it's got some videos, uh, very short videos but they are still videos at the end of the day. Um, I'm going to be talking about FS 2020 because there's a lot of questions about it and, and, and loads of people have questioned me and said what are you going to do with, what are you going to do in this aspect, what you're going to do in that aspect, um, is this going to happen, is that going to happen, etc. So, to get things off to a good start, the main thing, in fact, to get things off to an amazing start, the graphics. If you look at the videos and screenshots that Microsoft have provided, you can see how much more detail there is compared to previous simulators in the franchise, uh, even compared to, uh, to simulators such as uh, P3D or X-Plane. So, it looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, for example, they've got animals shown to be present in the simulator, which I don't think that we've ever had before. Uh, we've got very, very realistic clouds and weather effects, um, including the the, uh, the rain on the windshield, which I find to be absolutely amazing. Usually you have to uh, purchase a separate immersion package, uh, for example, um, for the 747, I believe it is, or the 777 or something like that, or I know the 787's got it, uh, but you have to purchase that alongside a lot of the uh, um, different things, especially for X-Plane, or you have to, there might be a free version, I've no idea. With this, it all comes in. So the realistic clouds and the weather effects appear to be something which is um, included right out of the box. Whether that's the case, we don't know. Um, there's also amazing night lighting from the trailers and stuff that uh, you might have noticed. A lot of people may be saying that when it comes to graphics, the trailers only show what things will look like on absolutely maximum settings in the simulator. Although this might not necessarily mean that you have to have an Unreal PC to be able to use a simulator, since it will also be available on Xbox. So it's not it's not too hard to believe that those amazing graphics aren't going to be possible, or, or are going to be possible even. Um, many people argue that the Xbox version will be a serious sort of graphical downgrade, to the PC version, because as you can imagine, PCs are more powerful, which is no doubt what Microsoft used to record the footage for the trailer in 4K, as they say in the trailer. Um, but personally, I don't think that means that the Xbox version will struggle. I think if, if we put together this new uh, Azure AI, I think I've pronounced that correctly, um, and, and we sort of piece that together, my, my version or my understanding of this um, feel free to correct me in the comments, is the Azure AI is basically a way that you can, it's a bit like a projector. So you're projecting something onto your console or into your screen without your computer having to actually go there and, 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 and process all of that information, like the graphics and the, 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 the processors, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so it takes a huge... Um, load off of the performance, uh, or off of the processor and off of the GPU. That's the idea that I've got, um, or, or, or the, the, the opinion that I've got on it. I don't know whether that's actually the case, but, but we'll soon find out. Um, so that might help, especially if you've got a low-end PC or a laptop. Personally, uh, I would never use a laptop for Flight Simulator. I don't think they're designed for stuff like that. Um, if you're serious about Flight Simulation, I, I would say it's got to be a desktop PC. Uh, 
then again, there are people out there who are limited, uh, especially for space and stuff like that. So you might need to use a laptop. So um, in that case, I should imagine that it might be possible for this Azure AI to make it so easy for all these different platforms, like the consoles, uh, the laptops, the PCs, low end, high end, to, 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 to run the simulator. It might be just like a universal thing that works, works for everybody. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that's the case because I don't know about you, but I've spent, I mean, just look at my channel, how many settings videos I've done for every version of P3D or, or for most of the versions, uh, purely and simply because, and I get this a lot, people saying, oh, what, what difference does it make? Or why are you having to tone the settings down so much? And those of us that know and those of us uh, that are uh, veteran flight simmers out there will realize that in order to get P3D or X-Plane or what have you running correctly, it generally takes a lot of uh, work and a lot of time and a lot of studying to find out just what is the perfect set of settings and configuration for your system. And just because I've got an i9-9900K running at 5 gigahertz when I'm in the simulator now, because I've, uh, I've swapped things around a little bit, um, that's still not enough to run without any lag, without any stutters, with, without a low FPS at times, depending on the, on the scenery. Um, so I'm hoping this Azure AI really helps and, and, and helps people with lower end PCs or indeed higher end PCs who still can't get a good uh, amount of performance. I'm hoping that really helps. Um, now, another thing, that, a cool thing that I got from the updates that have been circulating around is the presence of sloped runways in FS 2020, which again, whether or not it actually happens, we'll have to wait and see. I'm not sure whether I, I can't remember whether I heard that on the um, flight simulator website, the official website, or whether it's just a, something I've read elsewhere. But a, a, apparently we're going to have sloped runways, which personally, I think it's going to be brilliant because it adds an extra level of immersion that we've never really had in P3D or FSX or, or Flight Simulator in any of, of those versions before. So that's a, something else to add to the bag. Um, we've got the realism, we've got the clouds and the weather and the graphics. We've also got the realism when it comes to uh, the actual runways, which is, which is cool. Uh, one of the most common questions I'm get, I've been getting is, will I be abandoning P3D for FS2020 when it comes out? The answer to that question is absolutely not, definitely not. I have spent an unreal amount of money uh, on software, on hardware, on add-ons, and everything associated with P3D. So I'm certainly not going to go ahead and just throw that away. Um, FS2020, depending on how good it actually is when it comes out, will simply be an addition uh, to the already existing platform that I've built on this channel uh, with P3D, because I think that's only fair. People have subscribed to my channel purely and simply for that reason, for P3D. So it would be wrong of me to just come along and say, well, actually, um, I'm not going to do P3D anymore. This new simulator's come out, so I'm going to do that. That's not going to happen. Uh, what I'll try and do is split uh, the channel between both um, simulators. So I've not got a great deal more to say. This is not a review or a walkthrough or anything of the, the trailers for the, the new FS2020. This is just a welcome back video. Um, so basically, don't worry. P3D is here to stay, but you might notice a few more FS2020 videos coming out at first when it first gets released, because obviously I'll be trying to get used to things. I'll be doing videos about things, possibly even a review in the future um, and stuff. So I will have to get used to it and it will be the new thing on the channel for a, maybe a week or two until uh, we start to juggle things back around a little bit. So to sum things up, I'm extremely excited to see further updates on FS2020. And of course, to finally get my hands on it when it arrives next year uh, or whenever that may be, it will certainly be featured on the channel, but so will P3D. Now, on a side note, I would like to thank everybody who has subscribed to this channel and has continued to subscribe to this channel over the past few months that I've been absent. Um, whilst I've been inactive on here, obviously, family comes first, so I've been taking a little bit of time out to, uh, to be a dad, basically. So I do apologise, but it has to be done. So my next video is going to be a full flight video, uh, which actually features some brand new scenery to my scenery li library. It's some Orbex scenery. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but look out for that. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I am back. Hopefully, this is about the 10th time I've made a return onto this channel after short breaks, but there we go. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next, in the next video. Bye for now.